Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. This is probably going to be a long form video, guys. I have a few thoughts that I want to get into. First is this idea of um, Swami Nisargadatta Maharaj as well as Ramana Maharishi. They talked about, um, well, Ramana Maharishi did the self-inquiry, who am I meditation. And Nisargadatta Maharaj kind of adapted that. I don't even know if he adapted it. It's just, it's basically the same. And that's I am meditation. And I really entered that. Um, I really, pra I just, I just finished meditating and I just practiced that pretty deeply. Um, when you do the I am meditation, you do have to, I mean, I think it's a kind of a more like a, you kind of, you have to kind of be, it's not for beginners, med, big beginner meditation people, because if you're too tied to your thoughts, then it doesn't really work. But if you do this I am meditation where you inquire into the nature of being, into the nature of consciousness, like, you know, you just, you just close your eyes and you say, I am to yourself. And then you kind of watch to see what, um, experiences come out of that simple statement and if you're you know if you're practiced enough at resting in stillness you kind of enter these um like these kind of uh, qualities of consciousness that that are kind of different and, it, and it's kind of like um you know okay let me just try it real quick and I'll, let me see if i can explain it to you i don't know yeah it's 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 kind of like a presence that isn't you and it's really subtle. Um, and Nisargadatta Maharaj says there's basically three levels, right? Like um, there's the, the first level is the I am identified. Like I am this body. I am that person. I am this. I am that. And that's duality, right? That's like the lowest level. And then the middle level is when you're able to rest in the, in the pure being of I am. And the highest level is um, your ability to even go beyond I am into into something pr prior to the recognition of I am. And that's like, I don't know, I don't think I've ever been there. So I think I've been there once in my life um, when I had my first spiritual experience that woke me up from um, atheism. I used to be an atheist and then I had the spiritual experience that rocked my world. Super blissful. I was gone. Anyways, yeah, So so that's that. And the second thing I want to talk about was this idea of suffering, right? The the Buddha built his whole philosophy around human suffering, right? Like like how to deal with the problem of human suffering. And um, so I just want to really clearly point out that compassion and the recognition that that suffering is real as well as joy is very important. You know, it's a very important thing that people need to recognize is that the four noble truths, right? The four noble, noble truths say that there is suffering, there is a cause of suffering, the negation of the cause of suffering is the solution, and the eightfold path helps you negate the cause of suffering. So, so that's the Buddha, right? So, um, so suffering's real, right? Like, like a lot of Hindus are all about like, oh Maya, like it's all an illusion. So I'm just gonna sit out, blissed out in a cave, not do anything to help anyone. And that's fine. Like, I'm not judging. Like, I, I mean, honestly, the, the people who, 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 I mean, they're helping in a very subtle way, right? Like, like their subtle vibrations of their, of their elevated consciousness are uplifting the world. But, but if you want to go sit blissed out in a cave or, you know, not really help anyone physically, that's fine. Like meditation is great. Just sit there and meditate. It probably means you're not capable of doing anything else, which is fine. You know, like, you know, some people just aren't capable, you know, being in a cave is, is, is the most they're able to do and no judgment, right? No judgment. It's just like, it is the way it is. But, but yeah, so, so this notion of I am this and, and exiting suffering by examining the qualities of being and consciousness, um, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. So, uh, take it easy guys.